In this tutorial, I will be teaching you how to create the stacking card animation in Elementor Pro. If you would like to see a live preview on our website, you can find the link in the description down below. You can also purchase the code if you are feeling a, bit, a little bit lazy. Now let's get to it. First off, let's start with opening Elementor. And then add a container. This container will be a timeline container and will be very large. Within the container we add another container. This container is the card. We will be adding a background a purplish background with a border of 20 pixels or maybe even more whatever you like something like 70 seems fine then we add a padding we're adding a padding of 60 pixels within the container we will add one container containing the title of the card text and buttons so we will do that next so here we go adding a container within a container we add a heading text and next up are the buttons and we'll put them in a separate container we go and then a button and another button so for the container I chose to go with a pinkish color biography will be using the Corona one typeface with a few width of three and a medium sized then we add text something like sticking card the mission you want the text to be a little bit smaller we are using the same color I like the combination with Nunito Sans and then having the size also a view width of one should be enough. Maybe a little bit bigger. 1.3. Next up are the buttons. We will make them flow from left to right so they are next to each other we change the color of the first button change the text in down load now and style for typography we pick little suns again and a few width of one Three, maybe a little bit smaller is better. I think I like one the most. For background, we pick a color. I like to pick this color. The text color matching the background color. And for border radius, we will be adding a high number so it's more rounded like this and then we will increase the padding something like one it does work and all the times it doesn't adding commas so there we go and for this button we'll change the text to by now for styling we pick the text color and then for the background we want full transparency 
we'll use a border radius. Then change the text color to lighter pink. Make it a little bit bigger. Also have you with one. And for the padding, I think I will do the same to keep them a little bit similar. So, oh, they are connected. So there we go. We have the left side of the card. And let's add the right side. So we add the image container. There we go. Oh, it should be inside the container. And the parent container we will change the layout from left to right. And put this one first. So there we go. I like to increase the size. This one is a little bit small. Timeline container, 1900. Oh, there we go. And this one needs to be full width. So it will go into the full length. You can change things up, of course, to make it smaller or bigger. But I like the size. Select it and make the right side bigger. Something like 40, 60%. I think I like this one. To make our life a little bit easier, I would suggest to also check on mobile. As you can see, it's very small. So we can change things up here. Let's first change the padding, make it a lot smaller. I think the border radius doesn't look nice on mobile as well. So we can change that one as well to be a lot smaller. I like the image to be on top. So we will reverse it. And then for the text, run five, it's a little bit big. I think I like this size and this should be one room so it's readable on mobile phone then we change the buttons as well to be the same size as the text there we go this one also one room then we have it. I want both buttons to be centered. This can be done very easily in Justify Content. So now they are both centered. This one looks about right. So next up is also checking on tablet. And as you can see, it looks just fine for the title. I think this can be improved up on maybe make this a little bit bigger as well. There we go. And then new button size needs to be one. And this one also one. Perhaps having them blow each other is better. So we just change how it works. There we go. Nicely centered. I think it would be nice that the image would be centered as well. So let's change that. There we go. 
centered. And now we have created our card to be like this on desktop, this one on tablet, and this one on mobile. So next up is creating the next card. We'll speed up the process because it's basically doing the same. And if something changes, and changes are made, I will slow down and tell you about it. I forgot about this lying in center always looks nice. I think so at least. So there we have it. <clears throat> I've now created all four cards. Now we need to add some spacing because these two are too close to each other. What I like to do is add some percentage like 20%. I don't want it to be all of them, only the top one. So I will be adding that to the other cards as well. So there we have it, we have some spacing. Next up is making the card sticky. So it will stick to the top of the page. You go to motion effects, then you have sticky, you set it to top, you offset it a large amount, then when you scroll down it will stick nicely. I also recommend adding a C index. Those are basically layers and with the sticking effect the next card will go above the previous card. So there we have it. Also sticky top. I want to have it slightly offset. Uh, so maybe 50. I think I need to increase this even more. Let's see, 70, there we go, 80, even looks better. So for the next time, one, we will do the same thing, add a Z index, motion effects, go to sticky top, then add 80, and I guess that one's already 80, so we add 110. And go do the same thing for the last one. So that is in motion effects at 130. And I guess I didn't add the Z index to 4. As you can see, it was back this card, and now it's up very on top. And I guess our timeline container needs to be bigger. So we will add some padding at the bottom. Make it a, in same size, something like 20. We don't need any margins for left, right or top. So now we can see it's starting to look so like something already. Next up is the animation. So we go do the first one, animation effects for scrolling effects. You have skill, and you set you have skill up. I put this at minus one, so it will scale down. I want it to end all at the same time, so at the bottom of this element, and set the relative to path to viewport. Now for the animation, as you can see, it's already starting when you start to scroll, but it would be nice if it starts later. So what I would like to do is decrease, increase where it starts. So there we go. Maybe a little bit lower still. There we go. So I set this to 35-ish percent, and now on to the next one. I scroll down until you don't see the download button, it's a reference, 
makes it easier for everything to be the same. Ooh, I forgot about this. When doing this, you need to increase this one because we have four cards. You want this one to be the smallest card in the end. So what I would like to change is in motion effects. Keep it in three because the last one won't scale, won't animate because it's the last one. So for this one, now we try to change this one. There we go. Motion effect, scrolling effect, and then skill. Very huge indeed. Minus two. There we go. As you can see, it looks already starts to look nice. Now we are on the, the top of the download button. So I want to scale it down from this position. So we put it there, set this one to viewport. Don't know if default is the same. Let's keep it default for now and see what happens, right? So there we go. The one's also scaling down nicely. And then we pick the last one. Motion effects, scrolling effect. Skill minus one finished also at the bottom. Did I set this one to be finished at the bottom? I don't remember. Yes, I do. Motion effects that we change the skill. Now, something weird is happening. I will try to fix that later. First, let's see. We can everything get everything in there. And I scrolled up and down, and now it seems fixed. Something weird with the editor from Elementor that will be a little bit buggy every now and then, but it's fixed when scrolling upwards. So now we will increase this size again until it slightly moves. And to be a little bit later, there we go. And now we have them all stacked. One thing I forgot to set, and that's also very important, is to start the animation from the top anchor. There we go. And then when it scales down, it doesn't scale from the center, from this point but from the top, that's this point. And that's a more clean and nice way, as you can see from the first container. So we need to change that to, to the other ones. So there we go. And then the offset can be a lot smaller. So let's put it to 70 perhaps. Here, there we go. As you can see, again, there is something weird going on with the spacing from one side to the other, but will be fixed if you scroll up and downwards, as you can see. So this container also has a very large one. Let's change that to 90. And then the last container can be 110 again when using I think I need to increase this as well. Oh, 30, 40, this looks better. And then when you scroll upwards, they reveal. And there you have it. Sticking animation in Elementor. I hope you liked it. Subscribe if you did. Uh, and if you didn't, then let me know down in the comments how can I improve it. Well, see you on the next one.